Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. So, this is how I sat down with so much confidence when I went to audition for that new TV gig. The company loved me. Like, I know I got the job. I mean, I haven't gotten a confirmation or anything, but I know I got the job. Later on, they say radio only works for plus-size beauties like myself. <laughs> but I wonder, do people actually feel like their looks determine if they get their dream jobs or not? <sighs> when are these people actually going to call to confirm? Do you think looks matter when it comes to getting your dream job? I know some people say when you're on radio, as long as you sound great and you totally look ugly, you're fine. But then I wonder, do you think looks matter to any people who work on TV? Call in and let me know what your take is. Oh, we have a call online. Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, this is Neka from Ikeja. Hi Neka, what's your take? Well, I know for a fact that people hire based on looks and skills. For instance, I know a lady who finally got a job after she bleached. I light skin got her where her dark skin could not. Some people will pick a better looking person over skills. Like nobody even cares if you've got talent or not. Wow, thanks for calling Neka. That is so true yet so sad. Keep the comments coming. This is still the gist with you. Are. <sighs> what is it, mommy? Rora, my friend. This is Tiwa. I know. That's why I called. Oh, hey Femi. What does that mean? I thought it was the TV people calling. I've been very nervous. Then why don't you call them? That's true. I didn't think about that. Because you're not as smart as me. Whatever. <laughs> Let me call them, then I'll call you back. Okay. All right, bye. Pick up now. Tiwa Lola. Hmm? What's wrong? I be right boy, you are doing rubbish with her. I've broken your heart already. Boys of nowadays. I knew it. When he was kissing you before he met me. When we were doing boyfriend and girlfriend, me and your mommy. Not. Daddy, <laughs> wait. When did you become like mommy? Anyways, that's not the situation. I went for an audition for a TV station and I thought the interview went well. They said they were going to call me back and nobody has called me back and I've been waiting. Now I'm calling the lady and she's not picking up. Uh, be patient. Maybe you're trying to decide who to pick. Okay? Okay, if you say so. Siwa. Huh? What's the name of the TV show you went to audition for again? Win or lose. The audition went really well. I give them animated to you. <laughs> I don't think they'll be calling you back at all. What's going on? Daddy, they gave the role to someone else. But you are, you should be glad. Television makes you look 10 pounds heavier and you really don't need to be looking any heavier than you already look. You don't know when to talk and when to shut up, do you? Like mother, like daughter. Leave here now, my friend. Where you go, Parrot. It's the weight. Daddy, it's the weight. I know it's the weight. It's like every time I keep trying, nothing ever works. All the doors keep closing against me. I don't understand it, Daddy. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired and I'm sad. Maybe they did not pick you for this job because of your size, but not everybody will shut you down. Your talent will shine, okay? When? Daddy, when? When? Soon, okay?
You know the part that annoys me the most? That stupid Shalewa. Because she's skinny hair. Eh? Does she have a job? Does she even have a man? Stupid girl. She's just running her mouth like a parrot. Maybe I should even do a show with her mommy inside it. Their characters, they'll get me a lot of money. And then when I have money, I will not give her anything at all. Then she'll be begging me. Very stupid girl. <laughs> So you were listening to what I was saying. Shalom, I'm going to kill you today. I'm going to kill you. Shalom, I'm going to destroy you. You're very stupid. You're very... Ah! I'm sorry, Tiwa. Sorry now. Please, Daddy. Tiwa, sorry. Based on the question I asked yesterday about looks, sadly, majority of you guys were right. In Nigeria, when people hire, for example, a girl, they hire her based on her looks, which there's no issue with. But if the girl looks great, but lacks in talent, where does that leave you? My dad used to say something. They cannot shut you down forever. One day, your talent will shine. So if you're out there feeling sad and a bit down on your luck because you're not giving your dream job by one man or one woman, one creature of spirit, don't worry about it. Heads up, chest out, because one day, your talent will shine. This is still the gist with Tiwa. Stay tuned. Marriage, marriage, marriage. Mommy, that's all you think about. Yes, yeah, so. If you should propose, well. Ha! You buy any more law? Oh, no, wow. Look, eh? Mm -hmm. On their wedding day, mm -hmm. if you see my girl, yes, ah, oh, my yanni. Ah, mommy, mommy. Ah, oh, no, wow, oh, no, wow, The shiniest. Yo, Kosibe. Always buy helmet before you buy your car. Wait for him to ask her to be her boyfriend before you start planning carnival. Shalewa. Ma. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Files, aka Files the Bad Guy. On today's lesson, I will be teaching you how to subscribe to the Indani TV channel so as to be able to watch more wonderful videos. All you have to do is click on this 